Welcome back. It's been two months since a young Sac City, Iowa woman died in a traffic accident. Courtney Gravender was just 21 years old when her life was cut short. But as KTIV's Michaela Feldman shows us, Courtney's memory lives on through a decision she made when she was younger to donate her organs. And I was so proud of her. I'm, I'm very proud of her. I'm a very proud mom. At the age of 21, Courtney Grafunder was the bright light in the room. Smart, strong-willed, a bit stubborn, with a giant personality. Courtney was working on her bachelor's degree as a paralegal as a step to one day achieving her dream to be a lawyer. She would be in mock trial in high school and she loved it. I mean, when she got into that, that's kind of when she decided she wanted to be a lawyer. You know, and it kind of went from there and that's that's, if that's what she wanted, that's what she was going to try to do and do it right. Courtney's passions continued out of the classroom to the racetrack. Her pit crew was her dad. <laughs> he just couldn't get enough of it either. He was so proud of her. Over the years, Courtney quickly earned the respect of the other racers. But her drive and the whole reason she did it was the kids. She'd be mad after a race, something would break, or she wouldn't get as good as she wanted, and she'd be mad. And She'd want to quit and she'd say, I'm done racing, I'm selling all the cars. And then she'd have little kids would come up and ask for her autograph and want to take pictures with her. And she would just light up with a smile. Courtney loved this racing car. It was a car her and her dad worked on. The car she used to inspire so many young girls. But Courtney's inspiring work didn't just stop on the track. Courtney was an organ donor. A simple check of the box that ended up being one of her greatest gifts. On December 14th, Courtney tragically lost her life in a car accident. Hoping that I'd get there and she was just playing another prank on me and I'd see her car in the driveway, but got there and it was a sheriff sitting there and it all started hitting me. And it's just horrible without her now. It doesn't feel like it's real most of the time. I walked up to her and I just held her and she was cold and I warmed her hands and it was not a good day. <laughs> It's my baby, my youngest daughter. These past few months have been difficult for Courtney's family, but knowing that her light is still shining brings them some comfort. It feels good knowing that she's still living on through people, and I know that she would absolutely love the fact that she's still helping people. The feeling you get from knowing your child's kind of sort of living on and helping other people means the world to me. In fact, Courtney's gift has already helped restore eyesight to two people, her family receiving this letter in the mail. We hope you may be consoled with the knowledge that two people with seriously impaired vision have received a cornea transplant as a result of your loved one's gifts. But she's not done there. Shelly says Courtney could help up to 200 people. She's helping people. She loved to help people. Um, and she can go on helping people. When asked what she would say to her forever 21-year-old daughter, I can't bring you back. If I could, I would. So you could finish out everything you wanted to do. And I love you. I will not say goodbye. I will say I'll see you later. Reporting in Omer, Iowa, with photographer Brett Funk, Michaela Feldman, KTIV News 4. The racetrack in Fort Dodge is planning to have memor memorial runs for Courtney. Shelley says they'll take her purple sparkle car out for that. So why donate? More than 100,000 people right now are waiting for life-saving transplants. 20 people die every day waiting. And every 10 minutes, a new person in need of a transplant is added to that list. The decision to become a registered donor gives hope to those in need of organs and tissue. Becoming an organ donor in all three Siouxland states is simple. You can check the box when you get your driver's license or register online or by mail. Organ donation is so important to save the lives of others. I also find the organ donation is good for the families that are donating. In the midst of tragedy, it brings peace, it brings hope, and it brings light in the midst of that tragedy as they offer the gift of life to someone else. Anyone can donate. There is no age limit in all three Siouxland states. We've made it easy for you to get your information about how to become an organ donor. Some helpful links are inside this story at KTIB.com.